Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Code with Ease. Today we are going to discuss about another string problem. Remove consecutive characters from a string. So in this, we are given a string S and we have to delete the characters that are appearing more than once consecutively. So let's discuss the examples that's given here. We have a string S, A, A, B, B. The output is A, B. Because we are only going to take single occurrence of every character. Similarly, in the second example, we have A, A, B, double A. The output is A, B, A. Because A, which is occurring twice, we are going to take that once, followed by B, and then again A. So with that, let's try to understand how can we solve this problem. So let's move to the whiteboard. So let's say we have a string. We'll take a string where we have A, A, B, B, A, B, C. Okay. Ideally, what should be the output for this as per the problem statement? Since there are three A's, we'll have one occurrence of A. There are two B's, we'll have one B. A again, B, and then C. This should be our required output. So in order to solve this, what should be the approach? You guys might think of using a set uh, to keep each, uh, let's, say, let's say we use a set to do that. So in set we will insert, so it will traverse to the string, and then we'll only insert one one character of each that that might be the very uh, first thought process that would come because set is going to store unique characters and we are supposed to um, have only one set of characters maybe yes but the problem is if a is being stored in the set and if we have to if we encounter a again anywhere in the string this um, the occurrence will not be in in line. So we have an A here. That was the first one. We also have an A here. So in the set, you can have only one occurrence. So set doesn't look right over here. We have to think of something that is going to uh, do two things. One is to preserve the ordering and also ensure no duplicate consecutive characters are added. Okay. So if that's the approach for us, let's try to solve this. So what we can do is we can use a pointer. So use a I pointer. Okay. And if you notice, initially we are having uh, like we have multiple, the consecutive characters are uh, duplicate in nature. So if I is here, and let's say you want to traverse through the string and you want to only have only a uh, single occurrence of that character, what would be the turning point for us? The turning point for us would be the moment the character. The next character is something different from the previous character, which means if this is i, and if this is i plus 1, in this case they are same, but in this case, if i was here, b was different. So this would be our turning point, because this is where we have encountered something new, and this is where we can, we, we are sure that now we can have one occurrence of a, and then we can do the rest of the check. Okay, so let's start with the dry run of this. So we have I here. So the approach is just uh, write it briefly and then we can do the dry run. So we'll, we'll traverse the string till second last character. And we'll check if i, um, the character at i, is not equal to the character at i plus 1. Okay, if, if that's true, then we will 
add char at of i to our output string. Now, why second last character? Because if i reaches the last, then i plus one check will lead to out of bounds. Uh, so we cannot, uh, we have to go only till the second last so that the i plus one check satisfies. Uh, it doesn't uh, break over there. That's one thing. And second, as I mentioned, i and i plus one, this is the baseline. We have to keep on doing the current character and the next character, current character and the next character. Like that, we have to go on. The moment, as I said, the turning point would be when i and i plus one are different. Only during that time, when it is different, only then we are going to add the caret of i. Like in this case, since i and i plus 1 have been, uh, it is same as we will see in the dry run. Since it is same, we are not going to append caret of i every time to the output string. We only need to append or add just one occurrence of that character. So that is the thing. And uh, finally, we are just going to return the output string. So that's it. So let's start with the dry run. So we have i here and we are going to have i plus 1. So in this case, the second the condition that we have written, caret of i and i plus 1, these are, they are not equal. So i is going to move ahead. So i will be here. i plus 1 is here. So again, these two are same. So i will move ahead. Again, i is here and i plus 1 is here. So now these are different. Because these are different, what will happen? So we'll have one, uh, try to put our output over here. Since i and i plus 1 are now different, we will add caret of i. So caret of i is a. So in the output string, we have added. Then our i moves ahead. So now this is the i, i and i plus 1. b and b, same. So nothing happens. i is here. Then again, we do the check. i is here. This is i plus 1. b and a. They are different. Because they are different, we will add caret of i. So caret of i is now here. So we will add b. Then i moves ahead. a and b again different. So we will add a. Then I moves ahead. Okay, now this, as we said, we are going to reach only till the second last character. So now I is here, I plus 1 is here, B and C um, are different, so B will be added. Now comes one important part of the question. Since we are here and now we are left out with the last character. So there can be uh, two scenarios here, which I'm going to talk about. Okay, so till this much we have done A, B, A, B. Now we are left with the last character. So as we are left now with this, there can be two scenarios that are possible. So I'll just write it down. As we have B and C, so this is the second last character where I is, and this is I plus one. So actually there can be two scenarios. This is B, C, which is fine. So in this, what happens? We have added B already. C is left out. So towards the end of this, towards the end before returning the output, just add the last character alone to the output and then return it. That's a just small addition that we have to do. We are just going to append the last character to the output string and then return it. Why I'm talking of two scenarios is because in this case, B and C are different. So we have added B already. C was left out and we simply added the last character to the output and we return. We got B and then C, which is good. What if, what if there was a character such that it was B and B? Then in that case, what would have happened? If this was I and this was I plus one, this condition, caret check would have would not have satisfied. So in that case, 
in that case what would have happened this first b also would not have been added but we we out of these two we want at least one b to be added b at least one b should be added so in that case also our this thing is going to take care of that what i mean to say is in any case either it is bc or bb which means either it is i and i plus one's character equal or it is i and i plus one character not equal to each other just by adding the last character to the output is going to give us a desired result why because if they are different anyway we have added the first character to the to the string already we are just left out with the last one that is case number one and case number two is if they are same if, if they are same then anyway we would have needed to add it only add only one character so when when one character only is needed then we can simply add that last character it doesn't matter whether this b is added or this b it's just a matter of one character only so that was the turning point that i wanted to mention so now that is done and we have achieved our output so yeah that's about the approach so let's try to code this okay so let's try to code this we'll take a string as an input a a b d c a b c okay and we already have the method here okay. so in this we have to traverse through the string uh, as i mentioned till the second last character so in order to do that um let's try to define a for loop i less than a dot length oops a dot length minus one i plus plus okay so we have to return an output string so i just have one variable output okay what is the check that we are going to do if a dot caret of i not equals to a of dot caret of i plus 1 only then we are going to add that to our output A dot carat of i. Okay, so we have to continue doing this. And once we have we have done this till the second last character, as I mentioned, we just have to add our last character to this output and then return that. So output plus equals a dot carat a dot length minus one that's it so a dot length minus one because uh, the, the last index of the character uh, that is the last uh, I mean the index of the last character I'm so sorry is going to be the length minus one that that index itself so with that we just return the output yeah I think that's it so let's try to print this Okay, so that's the output that we got. Let's try to verify A, B, C, B, C, A, B, C. Okay, so I anyway had a lot of distinct characters. So let's try to change this a bit. I'll try to give a different string. A, B, A, and some, something else. A, B, B, B. C C C B B B 
nutzen. C, A, B, C, D, F. Yeah. So I think that's the desired output. I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you so much for watching.